Okay, so guys, tentatively, tentatively, I'm gonna be starting up this series again. That's man drinking water in the background. Let's go back from the gym. with filming in the gym again like this is going to be a new experience for me i feel like my routine has changed so much since um i was filming previously like i, I feel a lot more i guess comfortable with what i'm doing i guess is what i want to say so I'm, I'm eating um i have a pack of sugar low sugar apple cinnamon oatmeal i have apples in here and chia seeds it's really good except this apple is a little bit tart like you guys are asking have been asking me to bring back this series I didn't know if I wanted to do it or not because it's a lot of work having to vlog and then edit all this material and then people don't watch it. You know, it's, it's a lot of work. And I'm like, do I really want to bring this back? I love sharing my journey with you guys because I feel like, well, you guys say it's been an inspiration for you. So I want to share it just for that aspect, but it's a lot. It is a lot. So like I said, tentatively we're starting this chapter over again i'm still on my journey um i'm still learning things still trying my best in some areas right now my main focus has been on counting my calories getting in my protein for the day which i've struggled so hard with the protein so i'm doing a lot better with tracking my calories and getting my calories in um some days i don't hit the goal because like some days i just don't want to eat you know what i'm saying but that's been my focus. And then I don't really have uh let's go to the gym three or four days. I just go whenever I feel like it. And lately that's been like almost every day. Um, I'm trying to cut back because like right, right now I went to the gym, I think it's been four days in a row. And my body is like, hey, I need a recovery day. So I think tomorrow I'm going to take off and just record content. But yeah, we're going to start back on this journey again. No, 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 that's nasty. See, I'm out here walking Manny. I just dropped my phone. I drop my phone every freaking day now. I don't know how it's even working. But yeah, it's cold. I'm walking Manny. Um, I'll check in when we get done. So guys, I'm eating again. I'm gonna show you what I'm eating. So this is ground chicken. You get four ounces of ground chicken um, per serving. One serving of Doritos kale spinach um jalapenos and onions then i have um a serving size of nacho cheese so i'm back from my walk i'm eating my food as i just showed you guys i think one of the hardest things is we're so used to diet culture we're being uh, being told you got to have boiled chicken and rice and broccoli and that's it the most important thing you can do is find out how many calories is best for you to help you lose weight and then stay within that calorie deficit throughout the day. So um, that's what I've been working on so far and it's helping. Um, so I'm glad to know that I can still eat the things that I want and I love. I think it's helping me develop a more healthy relationship with food. Um, previously, I was not eating enough and I didn't realize it. I was eating so little bit of food. Being on this calorie deficit thing, it helps me see how much I need to be eating, how much I'm not eating, and how I can still eat things that I love and still lose weight. So. Mexican food is one of my favorite things. <sighs> yeah. But yeah, let me go eat. Like I said, this is my nachos. So I'm going to eat this and relax and I'll check in later. Y'all, it's like 6 o'clock. I've been sitting here doing nothing all day. I'm supposed to be cleaning my beauty room because I got to film tomorrow and I have stuff everywhere. I just have not gotten the strength. I think I just wore myself out doing too much this week. Um, So, drinking my last little bit of coffee. I got like a sip left in here. I'm going to make myself get up. Because I know I need to film tomorrow. And if that room is not together, I'm not going to want to film. And I'm, that could be an excuse for me to be lazy. So, come on, let me get this last little, this little sip in. Ugh. That's some strong coffee. Okay, I'm going to make myself get up. Go come my room up. Oh, in case you guys wanted to know, I had a Rice Krispie Treat, 90 calories. And then I had... 
one of these fast breaks. When I get home from the gym, though, I be craving sugar. Like, craving sugar. I'm like, what is this? I allow myself to have sugar as long as it's within my um, calories and uh, my macros for today. So, let's go clean the beauty room. And then this giant box has come in the mail today. So, I need to find out what this is and sort through it. But I don't have time right now. I, I go clean my beauty room up. So, yeah. My beauty room is never my beauty room. Okay, guys, this is what we're dealing with right now. It's not as bad as it may look, but it's bad. It is bad. This is like all the coats that I've been wearing this week. I have some stuff I need to review from Fashion Nova. Some stuff I need to sort through, see what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to sell. Just random crap on the floor, gym shoes. It's, it's, it's just a mess. This is laundry I did. I just threw in the corner. I didn't feel like dealing with it. Look at my racks. This room just always falls apart because I'm in and out, in and out. I am ashamed. I am ashamed. So guys, I have 30 minutes to get my room together because my show comes on at 7 o'clock, comes on Facebook Live, and I'm filming on my phone because I don't have a camera. You guys, you guys know what I moved. I lost my camera. I have not been able to find it, and right now I just cannot afford to buy another one. So I'm filming on my phone, so I have about 30 minutes to try to get I have about 30 minutes to try to get this room together. This coat, so you guys know I have the pink one like this. I got the pink one in a size 2X. It's way too big. I got this one in a size 1X. It's way too small. The sizing is so different between these two coats. I've even lost weight since I first ordered this coat, and it's still too small. Like, so this is the orange one, which is so cute. It would have went perfectly with the outfit that I wore to the gym today. I know I, I said I got 30 minutes to get this done, but I, I just want you guys to see the difference here. Ugh. So this is the pink one and the 2X. They're made so differently, but I can't let go of the pink one because I love it so much. But this is the pink one. Look at this. You see the sleeves? It's not tight or anything. Like the other one, I, I, I can literally wrap this up like this. What's in the pocket? Girl, I got my, my protein shakes in the pocket. Anyway, <laughs> um, anyways, but yeah, it's not crazy. Anyways, let me bring this. Let me stop playing. I got 30 minutes, y'all. My show comes on. So there's a show called um Singles Live for Kendra G. She's like from Chicago, whatever. Like I happen to see it all the time on my Facebook. It kept getting suggested to me, suggested to me, suggested to me. So I started watching it. I really, really love it because it's like pure comedy entertainment. So I need to hurry up. Let me, I'll check back in a minute. Hold a minute. Okay, so for the most part, I'm done. Straightened up the rags. Got all that clothes put away. Um, this is stuff, I need to find somewhere to put them at because like I said, my shoe racks are filled. And then I have the stuff I have to do a video for tomorrow, which I'm really excited about this stuff. That's the stuff from um, Imbolent. I need to find somewhere to put this stuff at. I need some more hangers. I have over 100 hangers on these racks, you guys. And I'm out. I'm out of hangers. I need to go watch my show. And I need to go figure out what I'm eating for dinner. Welcome back to the vlog, you guys. <laughs> this is what you've been waiting for. The chaos, the mess, the behind the scenes chaos. Um, it's not perfect. It's not perfect in here, of course, because I'm not done yet. But for half an hour, we got a lot of work done. Hey guys, so checking in, it is Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. So today's my rest day, but I told you guys yesterday I was going to be filming today. So right now I just got done doing my makeup and my hair is giving very much 80s flash dance. But yeah, I just got done doing that. I'm about to start filming. I got some stuff from the um, Snatch collection from Fashion Nova. When they first reached out to me, I was like, I don't want to review this collection because... The body don't come with the clothes, you know? I still got my stomach. I don't know. But she was like, it's going to be fine. Just go ahead and do it. Just put some... So I was like, okay, I'm going to try. 
I've opened up one thing in this package and it is so tiny. I don't know y'all. I, I, I let, let me show you so you guys can get an understanding of this fear and trauma that I'm experiencing right now. So this is one of the things I opened. Look at this, you guys. Look, look at. I'm like, how am I gonna fit into this? And don't get me wrong, it's ribbed, and it's very stretchy, but it's also very compressive. So I'm gonna be like, probably breaking nails trying to get into this jumpsuit. So yeah, I'm gonna do a YouTube video. I'm also gonna do like a vertical video so I can do like a TikTok or like a YouTube short video. Like YouTube is really pushing the YouTube shorts, I guess cause of like TikTok for them or like Instagram Reels for them. I don't really do that many of them, but I'm gonna try incorporating more of that kind of content on my channel as well. So <sighs> it's such cause I have to keep pausing in between takes, rotate the camera, reset it, film that take, rotate the camera back, reset the camera and then film the YouTube part and keep going back and forth. And I gotta take my pictures in between the outfits. It is a lot of steps. And then right now I'm drinking my protein coffee. You get 30 grams of protein per shake, which is incredible. And I have coffee in here. I'm trying to make sure we're getting our protein. I already ate breakfast. I still have a little bit of that left over. So if I get snackish, I'll finish the rest of that while I'm filming. I also put a splash of sugar-free vanilla in there cause like it helps it be a little bit more sweeter. Um, but these are the shakes that I use. I think these at Sam's Club. And they're so good. It's like chocolate milk. It, it don't taste like a protein shake. It tastes like chocolate milk. But like a little bit like protein shake. But mostly chocolate milk. I love these. Okay. I'll be back. So I'm done filming. It's a little bit of a mess in here. It's not too bad. But it's a little bit of a mess. Um, I don't have time to clean up right now because I got to go edit this video. Well, not this vlog, but the fashion video. I got to go edit that right now. Um, and I'm starving. I'm craving some french fries. So I, th I think I'm going to put some, some waffle fries in the air fryer. I got to incorporate some more protein in it. I got to think of something to put on there. It went so good with filming until I got to do the last piece. Because the last piece, you you you'll see in the video. I don't want to spoil it. But th that last piece, it, it went left. Anyways, yeah. Let's go eat, cause I'm hungry. One of the biggest things to adjust to was weighing out my food. It took a while for me to get comfortable with it and to like stop being lazy about it and actually start weighing my food out. Um, it helps me so that I don't overeat. It also helps me with tracking my calories cause I know how much food I'm eating. And it's easy, all you gotta do is Go back here, you'll see the serving size. Like this is 85 grams or 11 pieces. So if you don't have a scale, you can still weigh it out. However, to me, 11 pieces is not accurate because some pieces are, let me see if I have one in here. So some pieces look like this. So if you take this piece out and then you get a piece that looks like this, you know what I'm saying? So it's not really accurate when it says 11 pieces because most of us would be like, okay, I want 11 of these, you know, but that's not accurate. With these three pieces, I'm already at 48 grams. So okay, that's 86. So serving size is 85 grams slash 11 pieces. This is 85 grams. So it's like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six in a piece. So like, don't fall for that, you guys. If you're serious about your weight loss journey, get a food scale, it's life changing, and an air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, you can use an oven and bake things. But the air fryer is just so quick. Like, these would be cooked in like five or six minutes in the air fryer. I have my waffle fries in there, and I put that rotisserie chicken on there. And I just put some kale, because I have like a lot of kale. I've been putting on everything I eat just to make sure I'm getting my greens. Um, so, yeah, I put the rotisserie chicken and the kale on there, and I just put a slice of pepper jack cheese on top. Oh, and I'm going to be adding some jalapenos and some rice. So I cooked my fries in there, and then after I got them cooking those, I put some parchment paper in there with the fries and chicken, and just layered them up on top so I can melt the cheese and cook the chicken in the air fryer, get everything hot. Anyways, but this is what it looks like. I have a saucer plate. This is not a real plate. Like, this is like a saucer plate. I have some of these. I have this, like, Tabasco sriracha sauce. So since I'm sharing my journey with you guys, I want to show you something I've been drinking like every freaking day. Um, I'm new to collagen powder. This was sent to me um, from Buxom Cosmetics of all people, but they sent this to me with this lipstick kit they sent me. So I've been trying collagen for the first time. 
there's actually no taste to that. Like, I, I could put it in plain water and I don't taste it. It's really, really weird. Um, and this is from Ye Organics. This is a black-owned company. Um, and they have these um, juice powders. So this one is Tasty Greens Apple and Dandelion Leaf. I have, like, four or five different ones of these. I'm going to be doing a review for you guys. But um, I love this one. This is my favorite one. It reminds me of, like, an earthy tea. Like it's a very gentle, soft taste, but you, of course you can taste it as greens, but um, it's sweet and it's soft. It just reminds me of tea. So I just take a scoop of this. Okay. And this one, the collagen, like I've noticed this stuff will get gummy and stick to the side of the glass. So like you really want to do this with, actually, I'm, actually I'm, I'm not even gonna do this on camera because I need two hands. But you want to pour this in slowly. And while you're pouring this in, you need to be stirring it up or using that little blender thing I just showed you guys. Because it will get gummy and clump up and sink to the bottom of the cup. And it's disgusting. So I'm going to do this with both hands. I'll be back. A little bit longer because that stuff, like I said, it gets gummy. You got to make sure it is blended. It's just smooth. I can't describe it. It's just smooth. So guys, right now I'm making um like what's it called? I'm meal prepping. Well, I don't want to call it meal prepping. I just like to make a lot of meat and have it ready. So right now I have like three pounds of um I have three pounds of ground chicken here. I wanted to put some peppers and tomatoes in there, but there's none. I don't have any right now, and I didn't realize that. So I had, I had to get some later on this week. Um, then I'm um, cooking some black beans. I'm gonna get taco salad for dinner. Um, but this is gonna be good for us this week too because I have like brown rice, I could put it in there. I'll show you guys my plate when I get done making it. Oh God, it's snowing again, you guys. Another freaking blizzard. Like, are you freaking serious? Y'all, it's midnight and I'm outside shoveling so Manny can go poop. My hands are like frozen. Um, but I'm so mad, it was just clear a few hours ago. All this snow was melted. I was finally seeing the streets again for the last couple of days and now we are in the middle of another blizzard. This has been like the worst winter we have had and I don't know how long. It just keeps snowing and snowing and snowing. Then it melts and then it comes back. Many the outside using the bathroom in this. I feel so bad for him. It's midnight, you guys. Look how bright it is outside. It looks like it's daytime. It is midnight. I kid you not. Cuss my trap down. See, I'm lying. Look at that. It's midnight. It's midnight. Hey guys, so right now it is Saturday morning. Um, well, it's like noon almost. Well, it's, it's 11 o'clock. I just got up. Last night was crazy. I was showing you guys it was snowing, snowing. Um, it just kept coming down and kept coming down, coming down, coming down. And then Manny chose last night to have diarrhea. So I had to keep running him back and forth to the bathroom all night long. Every time he had to go to the bathroom, I had to go out there and reshovel everything because the snow was coming down so hard. To add the like icing to the top of the cake, the power went out for hours. No heat, no TV, no fan, no heat pad, no nothing. The power was just out for hours all around. That's how bad the storm was last night. Right now, I have to go shovel. I haven't had a chance to brush my teeth, wash my face, eat breakfast, have coffee, nothing. I got to go shovel out front because the mail people come through. I don't know if they're delivering today, but in case they are, I want to have everything clear because the snow is just so heavy and so high. I can just tell you guys, like, so Wednesday was supposed to be my rest day, but I knew the storm was coming. It was supposed to come on Thursday. So I made myself go to the gym on Wednesday and I tried these new workouts. Well, they weren't new, they were new variations of workouts I already did. A great workout, the whole full body workout. And I had already been working out for like four or five days straight prior to Wednesday. Thursday came, I felt great. You guys saw that I was filming. Thursday at 11 o'clock at night, my body shut down, you guys. Pain, pain. 
couldn't even move my arms. All Thursday night, all Friday, body was hurting me. So Friday was yesterday. I was hurting so bad I could barely move my arms. I had to go outside and shovel over and over and over and over. Oh, God. Anyways, I got to go shovel again right now. It's going to be my workout because I'm tired. And then we're going to go get ourselves together and then go eat breakfast and feed Manny and all that good stuff. And then my nails look like this. I'm trying to take them off because I want to go without nails for a little while because my, my real nails are so weak because I keep fouling them down. I got to stop doing that. Um, so I'm trying to get my nails off and some of them, they won't come off because they're on there so good. But yeah, that, that's what's happening right now. So let's go shovel. Oh yeah, I wanted to do a fit check, fit check for y'all. I got my anti-social joggers on, my pajama dress I got tucked inside my pants, this nice fluffy furry hoodie, and let's not forget the beanie and the boots. Keeping it in New York. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get to work, y'all. I'll be back. Y'all, I'm already tired. <laughs> Manny, uh-uh. Oh, God. Look who's coming, y'all. The mailman coming. The mailman's coming, y'all. Oh, God. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I sort of regret doing that because my body is, oh my God. I, I sort of regret that. Oh, I did what I could. The sun will have to do the rest. I'm exhausted. Oh, and it was Manny. So guys, I'm about to go to Target real quick. This is just what I'm wearing, something casual, because it's crazy outside. I have a green coat to match my shoes, so I'm going to put that on. Just a casual outfit. I had a different shirt on, but I just, my stomach, like, I feel like, I don't know if I'm going to show you. See, on camera, it looks fine, but in person, I feel like my stomach just protrudes 
way too much. I don't like it. I'm trying to work on it, but the booty's coming in finally. Like, I'm, I'm scared. I'm starting to give, like, BBL. I don't want to give BBL. I just want to give big booty, you know, natural. But she's starting to get a little big. But I still don't have the projection that I want. Like, I want her to, like, really, like, come out. I don't know how to describe it. But, yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Go on Target. Yeah. Open, says me. Look at that. That is cute. Oh, oh, hold a minute. They got it in an extra, extra large, too. That is sexy. I love a good peasant blouse. That's giving summer. This color is sensational. What's that, chartreuse? Come on, Target. Come on. Look at these clothes. I'm not here to shop. I'm not here to shop. I'm not here to shop. Oh, my God. Give me all Oh, they got all the shorts. And I love their active wear section. Oh, my God. Oh, just everything. Come on, plus size chick. Serve. Serve, serve, serve. Come on, queens. Represent for the curvy chicks. I love this. Oh, no. Did I have the berries and cream kind with lower sugar? Because I would get that. They got maple. See, no, it's just a maple brown. Well, I'm getting one. Look at this cup. Don't look at my nails, just look at the cup. Oh my God. I what they went for, like $30, $25, that's not that. Oh. No, I ain't doing it. I'm not gonna do it. Oh, but it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh God, no, I ain't gonna do it, Lord. I ain't gonna do it. I just wanna know what's in I wasn't even gone that long. I wasn't even gone that long, Stinky. You so cute. I wasn't even gone that long. Moo Moo Babies. Moo Moo Babies. Moo Moo. Moo Moo Babies. Hey, he trying to see what I got, y'all. This ice cream, um, I never had this flavor before. So normally I get this flavor. It's so good. Like, you can eat this whole pint if you want to. Only 350 calories. But I like this one was like three servings for me. So today I got this flavor. Hopefully it's good. I didn't really get much of anything fun. This is my pre-workout drink. Well, not this flavor. I get all the flavors. I love this brand. So much energy from it. Such a good pump. Um, but I got the sour watermelon one. Manny is drinking water per usual. Whenever I start recording, Manny start drinking water. Okay, so I got these um, things of tuna. They are low calorie, high protein. You should be looking to get at least 10 grams of protein per 100 calories. But yeah, this is the ones that I got. And then I got my low sugar oatmeal for fiber. I want to talk to you guys about that too. Fiber is really important, but we'll get into that a little bit later on in this video. So like in these vlogs, I'm going to be sharing like the tips and tricks that I've discovered so far on my journey that has been helping me with my weight loss. Um, so one of the most important things I've discovered so far is fiber. A lot of the foods that we eat, a lot of the foods in the store actually don't have fiber in them anymore. Um, I saw some videos talking about how uh, fiber has been stripped out of foods because it, it doesn't taste as good. And when you have fiber, it makes you feel fuller longer. Not only does it help you digest your food, but it helps you stay fuller longer. So a lot of companies have taken it out of food because if the food doesn't keep you full, you'll keep eating it, so you'll keep buying it, you know? It's all about money. Like, a lot of people um, have been having digestive issues, intestinal issues, um, going to a doctor, being diagnosed with like colon cancer and stuff like that. We're not getting a lot of fiber and the stuff that we're eating is not being processed and sent out of us, but getting fiber. So like what I've been doing, um, I buy fiber wraps. I always make sure I have them in the house, whether I use them for making a breakfast, tostada kind of thing, nachos, a burrito, a wrap. I keep my high fiber wraps always. You guys, you'll see them in the video. Um, I buy chia seeds. That's really, really good. Flax seeds are really, really good. Berries like raspberries, blackberries, um, strawberries. Those are really good with fiber. 
Um, I use oatmeal, leafy green vegetables, stuff like that. Like that would help you as well. Um, but if you look at your food, like at the nutrition label, our foods don't really have a lot of fiber in them. So like if you have problems with getting your stomach to move, look for fiber foods. They have things like prebiotics and probiotics. I'm starting to look into that. Like I don't really have a lot of information about that just yet. But I know those also helps if you have gut issues. If you gotta go buy some um, Metamucil or like some um, psyllium husk, put it in your water, stir it up and drink it. Like whatever it takes, make sure you're getting your fiber so, you, so that your body can process all that stuff you're eating. Especially if you're eating a lot of fast food, you wanna get that stuff out of your system. When your gut's not right, your body's not right. Whether that's skin issues, mental fog, of course, gut pain, like all kind of things, your gut health, your gut is like the central system of your body, you know? So like, if this is not processing correctly, everything else is gonna be messed up. So yeah, look into that. Get you some fiber rich foods. You'll thank me later. So guys, I'm sitting here making lunch and I just realized I went to Target and did not get my tomatoes, my avocados. I forgot everything. I hate when I do that. I hate so when guys, I do I'm that. making lunch right now. I just took one of these wraps and tried to cut them into triangles. Didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to, but it's going to have to do. Um, but these are only 50 calories, so if you want to, you can eat two of them. I can only eat one at a time. And these are, like I said, the high fiber wraps. High fiber and they're keto friendly. Uh, what I'm going to do is just take some of this olive oil spray, spray it lightly over the top. And I have some Himalayan um, pink sea salt in here. I'm going to sprinkle that on top and massage it in and then throw it into the air fryer until they are crispy. Um, watch these because they will burn. So a few minutes in the air fryer and they're good to go. So I get to have my chips turned out. Looking good. Guys, look at this. I just tasted it. I'm about to go get in the bed and eat this whole thing. It's 410 calories. I still got like 1,500 calories left for today. And it's got 20 grams of protein. <laughs> it's one in pocket. I just ate some out the lid because there was a piece on the lid. I was like, oh, let me try it. Mm. Look at that. You see the maple and everything? Oh my God. Look at the pecans. It's so good and so creamy. Oh my God. So like right now, I'm getting ready for the gym. I'm eating breakfast. Normally I have two of these, but I only got one left and I didn't find any more at the store. So there's that. I think they're a specialty item. Like maybe they don't carry them all the time. But normally I have these with some berries and some sugar-free syrup. But since I only got one left, today I'm going to be using my PB2 on top of that. So guys, I'm getting ready to go. Today at the gym. So there's a couple machines I haven't used since I've joined the gym. There's some I've gotten the courage to actually go try. But one of the biggest ones is the Smith machine where it has a dumbbell bar on there and you just add your weights to it and you use it. I don't know why I've been so terrified to use this machine, but I have not used it at all. And I've been going to the gym since like, what? July? Somewhere around there? Anyways, but the other day when I was there, before I left, I said, must go over there to the machine, just look at it, figure out how to use it. I think I've been scared to use it because I'm scared I'm going to do it wrong and embarrass myself. So like, I don't know. But I went over there and looked at it, found out how to get it off the rack. So now, um... I gotta go try today. Today is leg day. I'm not even going to try working my arms because yesterday with that shoveling, that really just took it over the edge. I know now not to do so much in one day, but um, yeah, doing that shoveling really just took me over the edge. So I figured if I do leg day today, that gives my arms yet another day to rest. And then um, I'll probably do arms tomorrow. So now this is the outfit for today. I never wear these leggings. I'm going to go ahead and wear them to the gym. I figured my shirt is long because these, these are see-through all the way up. You can sort of see my drawers. But um, I'm trying to keep my shirt down so it's not like too provocative. But this is what I'm wearing. I don't like my hair. I feel like I'm somebody's mom. But I'm, I'm not going to change it because I ain't got time. But I'm, girl, it, it, it'll work for today. Okay, guys, I lied. It's been like less than a minute and I had to switch that with it. 
and that wig was glued down i just snatched it off i was just not feeling it so this is the one i'm wearing today i don't like wearing bangs to the wig to the gym because i get sweaty but i just could not wear that wig so yeah this is what we're going with today so guys it's leg day i absolutely love leg day like i do so many different workouts and i just love to see how my legs are changing i can already see like my quads are so big now and i love that this is my favorite machine this is like the uh, leg extension i think it's called i do about 100 pounds normally today i did 115 i was able to do it comfortably so i was like yes i'm getting stronger when i, when I first started out i was like at 40 to 70. I mean, it was that to that, I did a leg curl. And this is the Smith machine I was telling you guys about. Um, when I first started picking up this bar, I did it um, empty to get comfortable with how it flows up and down on the rack. And then I added um, a 45 pound weight to both sides of it, so like 90 pounds. I'm still trying to get comfortable with this thing. Like it is definitely a change from doing free weights, but so far I'm liking how I feel. I can't wait till I can start doing like squats and stuff on it. I don't trust my knees, but I'm gonna try the squats on there. Um, and then right now, what is this called? The leg press or something like that. I'm doing this one as well. Like each machine that I'm doing, I've been doing these same machines for a few months now, but I'm gonna keep working on them until I can get to like the highest weight possible on them. So like you, the goal is to always keep working until you get stronger and stronger. So right now I'm doing like these things for my butt. I got these little leg straps from Amazon. I forget what they're called. Laura cannot think of what they're called right now. <laughs> like cable kickbacks or something like that. I'm doing this to work on my butt. Right now I'm doing like, um, I think they call hip thrust or bridge thrust. You hold that for 30 seconds and then immediately you go into like the single leg right raises. I do not know like the proper terminology for this stuff you guys, but you can clearly see what I'm doing. But yeah, um, you go right into this. Guys, you're going to feel this in your butt and in your quads. And it is going to burn. There is no rest in between these two sets. So you do the bridge hold first. And then you do these raises. After you do that, you can rest. And then you got to go back into doing it. So you want to do three sets of each back to back. And then right here. Today, when I did this, my form was not the best. I prefer to do this barefoot, like with just socks on. But I hate taking my shoes off in the gym. But normally when I do this, I bend forward, kick my back leg out as far as I can and keep coming forward. You don't want your foot to touch the ground. Oh, and then normally too, I don't use two weights. Normally I just use one weight on the stable on the stable side, but I want to, like I said, get stronger. So today I chose to do weights on both sides and keep my shoes on. So like my form was like off today, but I still did it and I still felt the burn. So I'm happy with that. But you'll see like i get really wobbly and you guys your leg will shake so bad when you're doing this because like you're really relying on your core and on your leg to keep you stable when you do this it's very very hard but it's so worth it so this is another machine that i have not used since i joined the gym so today we're going to try it out this machine before so we're going to try so i've been coming to the gym for months and i just felt like i could never do this machine i was really intimidated by it but today, since I tried the Smith machine, I said, I'm gonna go ahead and try this and we're gonna see if it works. And you guys, I was so shocked. When I did the first raise, I felt like crying. I'm like, who is this girl? Who is this girl? I did not know I could even do these. I was so shocked. Anyways, but yeah, I did these today. I did three sets. I think I did 10 reps each set. I couldn't believe it. And yes, I took a break between each set, you guys, but I couldn't believe it. So then I wanted to finish out my day with cardio. I was I was so exhausted by this point. I was so exhausted, but I wanted to burn as many calories as possible. So I did about 30 minutes on the treadmill. And then when I get done working out, I immediately drink my protein shake to get that into my system. And then we're going home to eat. Okay guys, so I'm home from the gym. This is my meal. I have two pieces of the keto bread. This is the white bread. I've never had the white keto bread before. So I'm interested to see how it's gonna taste, but it's like, you get two slices. I think it's like 90 calories. Um, I have one tablespoon of the marmalade. And I split it between both pieces and I put chia seeds on top. Like I say, you wanna get your fiber. Um, then I have three ounces 
of ground chicken, kale, onions, and then two eggs. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat all this, but I'm starving, so I don't know what <laughs> we're gonna see. So guys, this is what I'm wearing to the gym today. Um, I'm having a really hard morning. Like, I've been making so many strides with my weight loss and getting in shape and everything, but I still struggle so bad with my stomach. And like from the front, I don't mind it so much. But right, right now I'm wearing a binder. I just put this on because that's how bad. <sighs> I don't want to get emotional. Like I got my fupa removed and I'm still struggling so bad with how my stomach looks. Like you can't see it right now because I'm wearing a binder. But I feel like it just protrudes so much forward. And I don't know why. So like I was putting this outfit on as a two-piece set. But I felt so uncomfortable and ugly with the way my stomach looked that I just, like, I'm putting on a binder. I was like, I gotta change my whole outfit. And I haven't worn this binder in a while, because normally when I start feeling like this, I just put on a sweatshirt. But I didn't want to do that to help. I really wanted to wear this outfit. But... <sighs> it's hard being a woman. It is... <laughs> it's so hard being a woman. Like, you just feel like you gotta be perfect. Like, even yesterday, I was like, Melissa, oh, your stomach, your stomach... Oh, I want to get rid of this back fat. Oh, I'm tired of my arms. And it's just, it is too much sometimes. Like, I really don't want to cry. I just got myself together for the gym. But it's hard. It's really hard. It's like you're always judging yourself. Nothing is ever enough. And it's just exhausting. It is so exhausting. And I just want to be happy because I've come so far and I've worked so freaking hard to be where I'm asked for if I miss my makeup. But, um, I'm just, I'm going to go. I'm about to fix my makeup. I'm going to go. I'm just going to wear the binder. But I'm just, I need a break from always thinking about stuff. Like, what's wrong? How can I fix it? You know, I just want to embrace where I'm at and be happy with what I've done so far. And not just be looking at things and seeing them as flaws, you know. <sighs> okay. I'm going to go. But that's just how I'm feeling right now before I go to the gym. So I'm working on my biceps. Um, I used to do it facing the bar, but I saw a guy doing it this way a few weeks ago. And honestly, I feel the burn so much better and I see the growth so much more. Um, with working on my arms and trying to just build muscle um help with the loose skin I, I already have loose skin on my arms but if you want to avoid loose skin on your weight loss journey start doing weight training don't skip weight training weight training you're going to need it but yeah um, i'm just working on my biceps and my triceps uh, i'm just doing a cable rope pull now what i do with my workouts you guys i do three sets um anywhere from six to eight reps um by the time you get done you should be almost incapable of doing another rep if you are able to keep doing reps, that means you're not lifting heavy enough weight. So you want to increase the weight. Now, don't increase it to the point where you are hurting yourself. But like, you want to get to a point where you are completely... Well, it's not called exhausting. You want to work out till failure is what they call it. So I do multiple workouts on my workout days. You don't have to do as many workouts as I do. I just prefer it because like, being at the gym is very... like therapeutic for me i love going to the gym so I, I just i stay there for as long as i can um but you can do however many workouts you want to just try to make sure you are working out till failure so like i said i do three sets normally between six and eight if i'm really really like trying to exhaust myself then i'll do between 10 and 12 reps but i always do a, at least three sets of um six to eight reps at my highest weight that I can do that's comfortable that's going to exhaust me so hopefully I'm explaining that for you guys but yeah I did um arms and shoulders for today's workout and I'm trying to show you guys in the video as well the weight that I'm doing so that way you guys can get an idea where I'm at on my journey and then right here I saw this girl on TikTok doing this for her stomach so I started to incorporate it with today's workout she was doing it with a, a resistance band on her feet this is my first time doing it so i'm not going to use a resistance band but in the future as i get more comfortable with my form then i will start incorporating um that resistance band on my feet 
And make sure when you do this, you guys, you're engaging your core. And she said when your foot goes down to touch the ground, make sure your toes are facing up towards the sky. And of course, try to keep your arms straight. So guys, I'm back from the gym. Um, I went to Target on my way home because I wanted something different to eat. I've been eating ground chicken for like the past two weeks, like every meal almost. Well, I do bacon every once in a while for breakfast, but like for the most part, I pretty much just do ground chicken. Anyways, I wanted some pizza. I've been carrying pizza for the last two, three days. So I went to Target and got this one. It's so funny. I always thought that pizza was such a high calorie meal. It is high calorie, but it's not as bad as I thought it was. Like one serving, like so one fourth of this pizza, this is thin crust pizza. Um, but one fourth of this pizza is 320 calories and 14 grams of protein. Of course, it's probably gonna be like a lot of sodium. I don't really worry about sodium that much. I drink a lot of water, like an, an excessive amount of water. But, um, and I don't have high blood pressure, thank God. Um, it's 22 carbohydrates per serving. Anyways, I'm gonna be eating pizza today. And I bought some salad as well. So um, I'll show you guys that when I get done. Get back at it again, y'all. Manny hasn't really had a lot of experience around other dogs. Like, he gets really nervous around other dogs. So I think them having that fence between them makes him more comfortable with getting to know this dog. But that dog is like, like less than a year old. He's pretty big already. Cause look at him digging. I think, I think he's trying to come under the fence. Oh my God, I hope he doesn't do that. But he is digging real hard. He really likes Manny. I don't know what it is. Like he just wants to play with him so bad. I think when it gets warmer outside, um, I like try to introduce him. Like if the neighbors want him to come over. But it's gonna be, gotta be like a slow introduction because he's really big and he has a lot of energy and Manny is really tiny. Hey guys, so today is Tuesday. I'm on my way to the gym. This is what I'm wearing today, just all black. I'm going to the gym, then I'm gonna come home and start editing this video so that way hopefully it's ready for Wednesday because this is a lot of footage. So I gotta try and narrow it down. Anyways, but yeah, I went to go to the gym. Today is back day, so... I'm gonna try to get everything done real quick because it's supposed to start raining soon. I don't wanna get caught in the rain. So I'm probably gonna do about three or four exercises and then get my cardio in. And then actually, I gotta go to the store afterwards too. Oh my God. Let's get going because I don't wanna get caught in the rain. So, guys, we have to be filming today because it's like really busy in there. But I'm at the gym. Yeah, I'm at the gym. Yeah, I'm at the gym. Hey guys, so I'm home from the gym. I did end up getting caught in the rain on the way home. Like after the gym, it wasn't raining, it was just cloudy. I went into the store to go shopping, came out. It had already been raining, but it had stopped. Then I got like halfway home, I was walking, and it started, well not pouring, but it started raining pretty heavy. So I did get caught in the rain, but it wasn't that bad. Anyways, um, I'm just unloading what I got from the store. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the store. Um, today I worked on my back. I did the Smith machine again for the RDLs. And I did that machine again where I, clamp it and pull my legs up you know like to crunch your stomach i did that one again as well and then i did um the treadmill for like 30 no 20 i did 20 minutes on treadmill and i walked to and from the gym so like right now i'm at it's one o'clock and i'm at 9143 steps already so that means we're here our step go today anyways let me show you guys what i got i got some kale i sort do it take out all the stems I cook it with some onions and then put it in the refrigerator and I just add it to my meals throughout the week. So good. Make sure you season it. Um, oh, and then make sure you, you massage it. Make sure you massage it to soften it up and break it up. It tastes so much better. Um, I got some Italian cheese. I'm going to make some like pizzas on those uh, fiber wraps. So I got some Italian cheese and then some turkey pepperoni. Um, I'm going to be using this for my um sauce and i'm gonna use this i got some protein pasta so i'm gonna use this for that it's like 45 calories per serving i get a lot of cheese i love cheese i think that's, that's one of the hardest things to me is i love cheese um so i got low fat cheese and i got white cheese this is 45 calories a slice this is 60 calories a slice the avocados all of them are hard and i stopped buying hard avocados and waiting for them to like soften because last last three times i've done that they never get soft. They just stay hard like a rock. I'm like, what's going on with these avocados? Like normally you can buy them, let them sit for a while and they get soft. That has not been my experience the last couple of times. So anyways, I got some um, avocado, guacamole, spicy. Uh, I got some chicken breast. I was gonna make breakfast breakfast, but I'm just gonna do um, 
a sandwich because I'm just I'm tired. I'm gonna make, do a sandwich. I got some keto bread. I'm gonna use some of that and um, probably one of these slices of cheese. And then I got like some brain mix salad and chips. If I, I'll probably just insert a clip of it so you guys can see what I mean. I'm just gonna make a sandwich. Like chicken sausage from my breakfast because I've been eating bacon a lot, so I want to get something different. They actually had two different flavors. I didn't know that. They have maple, apple maple, and then country style. You'll see it right here. So I got those two. Uh, I got some chips. It's 150 calories per serving. Um, also, I love veggie chips, the zesty ranch flavor, and you get 38 straws for like 130 calories. So normally I buy those, but they don't sell that all these, so... Oh, and then I got a ton of different protein bars. These are like my favorite ones. They taste so good. Um, they're 200 calories and there's uh, 15, yeah, 15 grams of protein. I love these. Um, I never had these before. It's my first time seeing them. These are 210 calories and 15 grams of protein. So this is yogurt, honey, peanut. Hopefully they're good. I've never had these before either. These are the protein chewy bars, peanut butter, dark chocolate. These are 190 calories and you get 10 grams of protein. Like I said, the goal is normally is to get 10 grams of protein per 100 calories, but it's sort of hard to do that when it comes to like pre-made stuff, but yeah. Oh, and then I got some bananas. All the bananas were green. These were like the most yellow ones I could find. So like hopefully in a day or two, they'll be like ready to go. Last thing, I got some tomatoes. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna make my sandwich and eat. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this vlog. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm hoping that you guys are happy that I'm back with this content. If you are, let me know. I love you guys. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next week. So, bye.